down and see what's going on. Because by that time, a sailor said, we're going to get hit. Paul Newton Frederick, born July the 5th, 1924. I've lived in Lexington all my life, except the time that uh, Uncle Sam had me. 96 years old, but the stories that he told I was sworn in seen. July the 30th in Louisville in 42. Went to Paris Island boot camp in Paris Island. Then we went from, they shipped us from North Carolina to California. And then in February of 43, we aboard a ship. Uh, it, was, it, it was the USS Laurel Line. Had been, it was a luxury liner, but they had converted into a troop ship. We had over 5,000 on it. Spent uh, about four months in New Zealand training. And the reason they sent us to New Zealand because Japan was about ready to invade Australia. And they thought that they'd be, we'd be closer than they shipped us up to Guadalcanal. Somebody up there watching over me. He said Harvey and I came out of the came down out of the Higgins boat and the ship went to general quarters. And uh, we were standing there talking and these other th two guys came up, three guys came up, and we got to talk with them. And that's when I said that <coughs> I, I wanna drink a water and I wanna see what time it is. And this old ship had a clock and a water fountain. I got as far as the clock, and I peeked to see what time it was. And uh, one of the sailors was there looking out. out. He said, we're going to get hit. And that's when I turned around and looked out. And that's when the, the torpedo hit the ship. And as I say, I went on, got on far, and I went over the side. and. Came up and I said and looked around. I couldn't see nothing. See that ship going off in the distance. So it went down in 22 minutes. There's somebody up there watching over me. He said if you'd been through. Yeah, I had four guys on there, and and I had just left them, and it couldn't have been over 20 feet or so from them when it hit, and and they got killed, and it couldn't have. What well, does that song says? It couldn't have been over a minute. So how long is it going to take you to go 20 feet and look at the clock and look back outside? But you know, we was told later, I was told in the hospital, that that's oil and salt water what helped our burns once it got burned. Up there watching over me. He said if you'd been through half the things I've been through, you'd believe in Guardian angels too. He said, if you'd been through half the things I've been through, you'd believe in guardian angels too. I had met Myrtle before I went into service. A friend of mine was going with her sister, and we. we he introduced me to her, and I said, she looks, she looks pretty good. And uh, I said, uh, I said, what if I get a date with her? So I called her or saw her, so, and she said, yeah, I think the only reason she went was because of her sister, and I had an automobile. I'd bought an old car for $50, and uh, we went to uh, drive in in Georgetown. I had a few dates with her, and then I went into service. Guardian angel. But when I got home, she called. Said, you coming over tonight? I said, well, I might. She said, well, come over. I got ready to, I mean, it, we, we was just, you know, friends talk like we are now. And uh, I got ready to, to leave that night. And uh, she said, if I take my lipstick off, would you want to kiss me? I hadn't kissed her, <laughs> and so I, I said, "What, well, yeah?" Guardian angel. Every time we'd have a gathering or something, she'd go with me. My family fell in love with her. I think before I did, and or she fell in love with them, 
And then uh, we get, as I say, we went together and we was uh, down on Upper Street down there one night waiting for her sister to get off from work. And you know, I said, you know what? If the war was over, I'd ask you to marry me. She said, why well, wait? <laughs> so that was, that was our engagement. Guardian man. Then I went to, <clears throat> then I went to Camp Perry, Virginia, on guard duty, and she wanted to be a June bride. Well, this all happened in the latter part of May, the first part of June, and uh, she wanted to come out and get married. And I said, okay, but I couldn't find no place to stay. I couldn't afford the Williamsburg Inn, so uh, I went down. Coming off guard duty one one afternoon, and they said you got a visitor down to visitor's house. And there was my mother and Myrtle. Whew. I said, "Where in the world are y'all going to stay?" I told mother, "I said, go in the and garden angel coming here again." I said, "Go in the com uh, chamber of commerce, sir, and tell me you want a couple of rooms." She got lucky; she got two rooms in the same house. So that was on a Friday. And uh, then we got married at four o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. I had to be back in camp the next morning at seven o'clock. I had liberty of a night and that was our honeymoon. And we've had a, we had a wonderful marriage. And you know, people talk about they getting mad, you know, and all that kind of stuff. I might have pouted for a couple of days and not talk for <laughs> How long were you married? 71 years. 71 good years together, but our love will last forever. Then he smiled and said, son, I'm one lucky guy. Yes, she's why I'll believe in guardian angels. There's somebody up there I was on fire, so I went in the water. I, first thing popped in my mind, water puts out the fire. So, and uh, I was out there, and, and then some of us other guys got together. We was in the water for about an hour and a half. They they, they picked us up. That sold me on a garden angel, which <laughs> he just put through me through other times too. But but I lost four good buddies on that on that ship. 